Well, hi folks and uh, welcome to Isle of Wight Bushcraft. And this time out we're in this lovely forest on the fringes of Exmoor, so stay tuned. This time out you join us in this lovely forest which is on the uh, side of a hill on the on the fringes of uh, Exmoor and we're just uh, walking into the forest uh, just a little bit further away we're hammock camping tonight so uh, we're going to walk on in and set camp and um, get things ready for a night in this lovely forest. Here we are, we've, uh, we've made camp, we're settled in, we've got the hammocks and we've got the tarps up and we've got the hammock chairs, we've cut some firewood. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, light a fire and then um, hopefully get a brew and some food on the go. But uh, as you can see, we're in a lovely spot. A bit of a slant, These, this wooded uh, woodland is on a, um, a side of a hill which goes into a, a, a gorge or a valley with the weather as a river but it's a, it's a lovely bit of forest and a really good weather we're enjoying it at the moment. It's a bit blowy, but um, it's still, uh, nonetheless, you know, it's still nice cause, because the sun's out and we're just coming into e the evening sunlight now. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely forest to be in. It's 
So as we say, just going to get the fire going. I think you're going to be lighting the fire tonight, aren't you, Nick? <laughs> tonight, yeah. Tonight? Might take till tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which method are you going to use? Like blowtorch. Blowtorch. Blowtorch and petrol. Yeah, I've, got a, I've got a flint somewhere and uh, I'll find something. You'll find something. I'll find something. That doesn't instill confidence, Nick. No we do need to eat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't eaten all day. I think we've we had two slices of toast for breakfast, and that's that's been it today. What's time now, Nick? Half past three. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not too late. Not as late as I thought. Half past three. Yeah, we've not eaten since nine nine o'clock. Yeah, quarter nine nine o'clock. We've not eaten, so we're Lee Marvin at the moment. There we go. Get the fire going. No, put the put the windshield back there, Nick, and blow it. That's it. It'll help it. It's a bit too much. Fun. There we go. That's going all right, Nick, isn't it? No, looks like we got the fire going. I was having a bit of a problem um, getting the, uh, the fatwood dust to stay in place because the wind um, wasn't really helping. But uh, on the plus side, the wind is uh, helping to uh, oxygenate the fire or feed the fire and blow the smoke away. And uh, our hammocks and tarps are behind the fire now, so uh, we shouldn't get smoked out. Going right, Nick, isn't it? Yeah. This time out, you see that they've lit the fire. Nick's brought along this little um, cast iron hot plate there, so we're going to be cooking on that tonight. It should be really nice. Well, it's uh, the sun's just uh, going down in the sky at the moment. It's coming to that evening sunlight. It's beautiful, lovely forest. Very, very peaceful. Very quiet. And uh, we've got the fire going. Nick's lit the fire this evening for us. We're just putting a brew on, as we just said, and uh, then we're going to get some uh, some food on the go. But this is glorious. I mean, what a lovely place to be able to have a camp. Yeah. It's quite remote, it's out the way, and uh, very peaceful and quiet, as I said. Uh, it's a good thing I like to. Uh, so one thing I like about uh, being in the hammocks is uh, you'd be uh, hard pressed to put a tent down in here. In actual fact, it's, it'd be impossible, but um, with the hammocks, that's not a problem. And of course, I've got this centre stanchion in. Uh, Nick's done the same thing with this setup, so that when we wake up in the morning, we've got this beautiful view of, uh, of the trees. And there'll be shafts of sunlight piercing down through the canopy. Uh, illuminating the forest floor uh, and I love to see that in the mornings when you wake up from your hammock it really is uh, and hopefully that's what we will see in the morning that's uh, one of the highlights of a, of a hammock camp and a night down in the forest yeah beautiful lovely evening well I think it's uh, like I say time to get that brew and um, get something to eat I'm not 
not should do that on purpose. Swap hats. Swap Put six practice. different hats. Swap <laughs> <laughs> six different hats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, eh? <laughs> yeah. You might keep the same sentence going, but change the hat. <laughs> I have to do that. That'd be funny. What you could do is when you do that to your competition, you could do a video with all like five different hats, but loads of different shots of all the different hats. <laughs> and then at the end of the video say how many different hats was I wearing? Yeah. Not how many changes, but how many different hats. Yeah. So I could wear wear, wear number yeah. one, number two, number three, then go back to number one, then yeah. do number five, then do yeah. number then go back to number one, wear yeah. it several times. But people have got to count up how many hats you were wearing. That's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea, then. I'll, and I'll follow through on that. You've got three hats here. Yeah. You've got loads at home. Oh, I've got loads. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. Got the jack, isn't he? No, I don't want it. Oh, right, really? Yeah, you've got it. You don't want it, is? Yeah, I'll get some. Hang on. I'm not going to never say no to a jack, okay? So we've got some spuds on and uh, we're going to be having some spuds, lamb steaks, uh, tomatoes, onions and garlic in a red wine jus. <laughs> Lovely! No, nah, not red wine jus. <laughs> Nothing that grandiose. You don't want any? Yeah, I'll get some. Hang on. I'm not going Just cooking up some uh, onions and garlic for me and Nick and our dinner. Potatoes are done, boiled, boiled those in some lovely stock. We're just cooking these onions and garlic, add some tomatoes and then we'll put our minted lamb steaks on um, and finish with some red wine sauce. Well that wind's dropped and uh, it's not quite so chilly in here now. In actual fact it feels really mild now. Yeah it's nice. It is, it's lovely isn't it Nick? Got nice and the lights fading as well so I think we're gonna have a lovely enjoyable night. Make sure the onions don't burn to the bottom of the pan. Taste of garlic. Not a bad cook, am I, mate? It ain't, you know, for camp food, not bad, is it? Better than a packet of pasta. Wow. That lamb, man. Good, is it? Oh, try it. Try it. Man, that is delicious. Oh, minted lamb, I love it. Mm. Oh. It's worth buying good lamb, isn't it? Oh man, that is just that's been worth waiting for. This lamb, minted lamb, delicious. Red wine sauce, <laughs> garlicky onions and potatoes. Well done, Shane. Chef Shane again. <laughs> Well, we've had something to eat, um, so we're well fed and well watered. We've just enjoyed a lovely coffee and some Jaffa cakes, but uh, the wind's dropped even more. It's quite uh, still now, isn't it? Yeah, it's very still. But isn't this beautiful, Nick? Lovely. Yeah, it's pitch, pitch black. Three hours hooting at each other. Yeah, <coughs> three hours. One up there, one over there, and then one right down there. They've moved about a bit, but 
been in the woods at night like this, looking up at the trees and so forth, looking around the uh, the ambience, the atmosphere. Is and it's pretty chilly, but the uh, the warmth of this fire we're getting now, we'll put some smaller wood, bits of wood in, and it's giving it a nice a nice hearth, nice heart of the, uh, to the fire. And we're getting some lovely heat radiating off of this now. And it's free heat. Oh. I mean, I'm going to have to cut down any tree because it's just been lying around on the floor dead wood. Yeah, a little bit of dead standing we cut, haven't we? But uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, lot of wood lying about. Moving. Still there. You can't see with the lights on. I think there's a farmhouse over there in the distance. I'm just going for a little bit of a walk in this forest. That's uh, one thing I do like to do is uh, just take a little bit of a walk through the forest at night because it really does um, take on a whole different atmosphere at night the forest it really changes from the from the day and it's uh, it's lovely to be out in the woods at night but when you know that you're actually staying in the woods and you're actually sleeping out in the woods, it's um, it's lovely. I always like way, making my uh, my way back to the hammock as well. And another thing I enjoy is when you look back at camp from a distance through the trees in the forest. You kind of look at your camp and you think, um, you imagine that it's not you then. You kind of imagine or think to yourself, if that was a camp and I was looking, you know, I was uh, just a walker passing by and saw that, I would think to myself. Well, that looks really cosy. I'd love to. I'd love to be camping there, right now. Uh, and of course, the thing is, is you are camping there <laughs> right now. So uh, it's a, it's a lovely feeling. I'm just going down the, just the hill a little bit. That's a really lovely forest. This lovely, um, lovely some lovely trees. They really are. I can't beat being in a forest at night. It's uh, it's lovely. Yeah, there's a real sense of uh, real sense of adventure. Being in a forest at night. Yeah. Oh well. I think we'll have a little uh, another ten minutes or so, and then we'll uh, head on back. I think. Yeah. in the tops of the trees as well lovely I think the canopy looks lovely at night in torchlight here we are just walking back into camp and uh, how cozy does that look lovely that's my setup and uh, this is Nick's setup he's got tonight same again hammock and uh, he's using the uh, DD stuff as well and uh, he's all set for the night Back at the hammock chair and the fire and the warmth. You all right, Nick? Well, it would be if it was dark. Well, we're just um, just been sat around the fire having a, a chat and a bit of a laugh and that, but it's come to that time of the evening where we're going to hit the sack and uh, hopefully get a good night's sleep. So, uh, we'll see you folks in the morning. See you in the morning, Nick. See you, Shade. Night, mate. Have a good night's sleep. You too.
Oh, that was lovely. Oh. Morning, folks. That was a lovely sleep I had. Really slept well. It's a beautiful morning. Nick's already up, got the fire going. But I think it's uh, time to get dressed and um, make some breakfast. Pretty good breakfast, Nick, isn't it? Wow. And what a place to enjoy it. Mmm. Oh, that is lovely. Well, another great time out in the forest. A break from the rigours of modern life in this system. and to spend a short while in this particular woodland on the edge of Exmoor, down in the county of Devon, was especially enjoyable. Happy times. Well, we're uh, just packing away now. Had a lovely breakfast. And um, so we're gonna pack our kit away and then uh, head on out. But it's been a really lovely, uh, lovely time. Great night. Good night's sleep, lovely breakfast, lovely dinner. And uh, we've been very blessed really with the weather. It's, uh, it's been a little bit windy, but um, it's been a great night. We've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Lovely spot. Like I say, we've been on the end edges of uh, Exmoor. It's been a lovely camp spot. This sloping forest. been beautiful. Woke up this morning in the hammock. And uh, beautiful view down and out through the trees. Yeah, so that's the end of another great wild camp. So we're just going to pack these fi final few things away, pack the hammock and tarp away, and uh, then we're going to head on out. Well, there we are, guys. We're all packed up. Um, you wouldn't even know we'd been here, left no trace, uh, filled the fire pit in, doused it, put some uh, detritus on the top and uh, all our gears packed. So uh, all that's left to say is uh, we've had a great time, haven't we Nick? Yeah, fantastic, lovely. And uh, we thank you for joining us and uh, 
all being well we'll see you in the next video so for the moment take care and uh, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from me <laughs> take care guys see you later